Good day everyone. I hope you are doing well. Welcome back to our lesson. We continue for the topic of looping with counter control. We have done about the IPO for the looping counter control. So today we proceed to the next, which is the algorithm, the next step of the problem solving. So we start with the flow chart. Okay, I hope you still remember our problem statement from the previous lesson, the problem analysis about calculate and display BMI for 75 students. So we are going to start with our flow chart. Anyone can tell me the shape of start? Good, the shape for the start is an oval shape. Okay, start. Then we draw the arrow down. This is the looping. So we have to initialize the counter first because it's a repetition with counter control. So initialize the counter. I name the counter as count. And I want to start to count from zero. So count equal to zero. Next, have our condition. So the condition count less than 75, count less than 75, 0 less than 75, 0 until less than 75 means it is 75 students, total is 75. Okay, if true, let's say 0 less than 75 is true. True, so we are going to get our input, input, the shape is parallelogram. So make sure they write out the read, read height in meter, weight in kilogram. So the input, remember, we do it in our IPO analysis. This is our inputs. Next, after the input, we have our process. So the shape for the process is rectangle. So this is the formula to calculate the BMI. BMI equal to weight in meter divided by height in kilogram times height in kilogram. Next, we have the output. What is the shape of the output? Good. It is a parallelogram again. So print BMI because we calculate BMI, right? Our output is BMI. Next, after we count it, just now is zero, right? The first students. So now we have to update our counter. How to update the counter? Count equal to count plus one. So we have zero just now. Zero plus one equal to one. So we have done the first students, zero. So now equal to one. So the arrow back count equal to 1. 1 less than 75. True or false? If true, then we calculate the BMI. So we could start the process again. The input, the process, print BMI. And then update the counter again. Count equal to count plus 1. Remember just now the count equal to 1. So now it's 1 plus 1 equal to Two. Very good, very easy, right? So when then go back again to check the condition. So 2 less than 75. True or false? True. Okay, good. Then we'll go to the process again until count equal to 75. So if 75 less than 75, true or false? Good, should be false, right? Okay, thank you for the answer. So if false, then we have to go to the false is stop. Okay, understand? Okay, very good. So now we have end our lesson. Thank you very much. See you next.